Welcome to Once Upon a Crime Stories from the underbelly of faraway land where not every story has a happily ever after. Tonight, scandal, crime, gossip and the weather. I'm Lucy. And I'm Layla. Our first story. Who is afraid of the big bad wolf? The famous villain is huffing and puffing after being arrested today, accused by the three little pigs of deliberately breathing heavy on their houses until they fell down. A lawyer for Mr Wolf claims hay fever is to blame and that his client is a victim of negative media hype. I'm here in the far away jail with the big bad wolf. Mr Wolf, you have been charged with the destruction of houses. How do you feel about these accusations? I feel I have done nothing wrong. They have the wrong guy. These houses weren't good enough anyway. You're being caught by impersonating both a grandma and a sheep. Who is the big bad wolf, really? I am... I am... I'm an innocent wolf who doesn't deserve to be in jail. I'm a friendly guy. What do you have to say to the good people of far away land who thinks you are nothing more than dangerous criminal? Just because I'm hairy doesn't make me bad. Don't judge a book by its cover. Well, thank you for those thought, Mr. Wolf. Good luck with the trip. Back to the studio. Now, the news of escaped kidnapped heroes Hansel and Gretel. Their story captured the hearts of the nation and caused a media frenzy last year. They have spoken out for the first time about their ordeal in their new book, Blackbirds Ate Our Brew Crumbs, The Hansel and Gretel Story. Our reporter Liam was at the book's release in the deep dark forest, the scene of their terrible tale. Hello, I'm Liam and with me are Hansel and Gretel. You're obviously very rich now, having found all the jewels in the old witch's house. How do, you spl- how do you plan on spending all that money? By buying all the food. Rolex, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Prada, anything expensive. Hansel, you're back in great sh- shape after being fattened up for eating. How did you do it? By eating Vegetables until I got skinny enough. Then I just went back to junk food. What have you learned through this experience? That killing witches is pretty fun. Well, thank you for your time. Good luck with your ongoing recovery. Back to you in the studio. Finally, there's a wicked whisper in the woods that is all not that all is not well with the marriage of celebrity couple Beauty and the Beast after failed plans to start a fashion line and poor sales of their album of duets. Sources are saying that happily ever after may not might not last much longer. We go to our reporter Mac. Thanks Lucy and hello everyone. I'm Mac here in the beautiful mansion of Beauty and the Beast. Hello and smooches to you both. Now yours was a classic love story where two opposites fell in love against the odds. How is it all going with you two? It does get annoying having to pay the maid extra to vacuum all of the extra fur from the floor that he sheds. She spends a lot of time looking in the mirror. So you're something of a beauty beauty and you're a total beast beast. What is the reality of living with someone who is completely different from you? He doesn't use nail clippers and just bites off his extra claws. Her flower perfume burns my nose whenever she walks past. She smells like a garden. Your recent duet album did not sell well and your fashion label has gone bust. What's next for you two lovebirds? We're making a perfume out of the extra claws laying around. We are going a new addition to the McDonald's menu, an organic pink burger in honour of beauty. Thanks for your time, Beauty and the Beast. I wish you all the best for your future. For the future. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Mac. Now it's time for a far away land weather update with Alexis. Who will, who will have the fairest weather of them all this week? 
be a mix of fair and foul for the faraway kingdom this week. In the north, there will be gumdrops, lollipops, and rainbows for everyone. The sun will shine, birds will sing, your sing from your shoulders until Tuesday. The deep dark forest will be as deep and dark all week with occasional sunny spells and some witchy spells. Moving down the land, the green fields will turn snow white overnight on Wednesday. Wrap it up warm if you're living in a house made of sticks, straws, or gingerbreads, because it'll be f f f f freezing. Finally, trolls living under the br bridges in the west might want to might wanna find a beanstalk to climb up on Friday. Heavy rain will lead to flooding. Otherwise, it's a happy ending to the working week for most of us. Back to the news desk. Thanks Alexis, that's all for tonight, although we have just had word that the big bad wolf has escaped jail. Since our interview, he is hungry, angry and on the prowl. Keep your doors locked, stay safe. From the whole team at Once Upon a Crime, good night. It was good, dude. Yeah, so.